Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Let's talk about anal because that is a question that does come up a lot. Okay. Um, I know a lot of people are very curious about anal sex, but they're they're afraid of it. So what is your advice as an anal sex professional? So my advice is I have a couple like key things. Um, one is don't be afraid of shitting on your partner. If you're going to have anal sex. <laughs> that, Rule number one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's where, that's where shit comes out of. And if you're, if you're, if you're deeply afraid of shit, like just, I don't know, just maybe take it off the table, but there are ways to do it and have it be less messy or less likely. So I always like to do like a little clean out. Nothing too deep, just something shallow, just to just, you know, make sure everything is clean in there. And then as far as comfortable, I like to use a vibrator um, while like penetration first starts happening um, to help me relax. Because the thing that makes anal painful is um, us kind of resisting it because it feels unnatural where like vaginal penetration feels very natural. It's literally what we're meant to do where, um, anal penetration feels very foreign. So having a vibrator on my clit while that's happening helps me relax and open up. And then something that Joanna Angel taught me is that if you push out, it actually relaxes your sphincter. It feels very counterintuitive because you, again, are like scared. You don't want to like poop on somebody. But if you push out while they're pushing in, it re it relaxes your butt and you can like enjoy the anal more. And then after like a few minutes, like it stretches out and it feels really good. <laughs> so you just have to like get to that point. Um, and if you're curious about it and you, and, you know, obviously you don't want to like deep dive with a partner right away, I would say get like a little dilator kit at home and start with the smallest one and give yourself orgasms with your vibrator while you're stretching yourself out. And that way your um, body will have muscle memory of like pleasure associated with anal penetration. So I want to go back to what you said a little bit about clean out because, you know, I want to remember that a lot of my listeners are not necessarily people who understand what that means. And I know that porn stars have a process to how they make sure that they're clean before they do a scene. And if anyone's like an expert on really, you know, being as hygienic as possible in a case like that, it would be sex workers. So can you explain how you, how you do that clean out? And do you have like a process before you do a sex and anal scene? Like, do you stop eating the day before? And are there only certain things that you'll eat? Like, how's your whole anal prep process like? So <clears throat> I think like um, anal prep for a movie versus anal prep for your real life are going to look totally different. Um, basically just anal anal prep for at home will be like a lot less <laughs> but usually i um i do my clean out the night before and i do and a clean out basically for me is just um lukewarm water and an enema and you basically just keep going until everything comes out clear and the more you do it the more you can tell when you're done. Like, you know, the first few times you're like, I don't know if I, I hope I got it all. Like at this point, I'm like, okay, it's finished. It's done. I got it. And then the next day I will do more of like a, sh I call it like a shallow clean out. So I just kind of like do shit out. I just kind of like squirt the water in, push it right out. And I'm usually good to go. If you put too much water up there too quickly before the scene, things can stay kind of wet up there, um, which can be problematic. 
obviously. So um, I like to like be done cleaning out at least like an hour or so before shooting. And then with eating, um, I don't, I don't starve myself, but I, I don't do leafy greens or anything with garlic and onion because that stuff upsets my stomach. <laughs> but that's basically it. So no salads before anal. I think that's like the rule that I've heard from so many girls. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. They're, they're just very fibrous. I don't know. It does something. But yeah, no salads. More like, I don't know, like chicken and brown rice. You know, something that's like bland. Think beige, you know, beige foods. <laughs> Yeah. You know, it's so funny. I had, and you mentioned earlier too, about like Joanna Angel giving you some tips and anybody who knows anything knows that Joanna Angel is the queen of anal and she is the girl to go to for tips. She's given me tips as well. And Ryan Keeley, I had Ryan Keeley on and she was talking about how, you know, when she would do anal scenes, she would like starve herself and it was really hard for her because by the time she shot the scene, she was so weak from hunger and had no energy. And that Joanna basically taught her about what Ryan calls anal pasta. And she was like, yeah, no, you can have like pasta and like carbs before you're seen. You just, you know, like you just said, like no leafy greens and, and nothing with color in it. And Ryan said it just blew her mind and like changed her whole world. She was like, I can have pasta before an anal scene. Oh my God. It was like this revelation for her. It was so great. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. You get carbs and anal. I mean, what a treat. What a what a devilish day. <laughs> Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the perfect package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.